Royals. Right. I'm going to leave you with, you know, telling me a little bit about the guys in the game today that you really admire. The guys that you look at and going, man, that dude right there is a beast. Because I think about the way you scored the ball and – just think about it. If the, if the three-point shot was in, you would have probably had to get a little bit more range. But, man, that would have added some points to your numbers. But tell me about these guys today that you look at that you really admire. Well, one guy's up up there because I, I saw him grow up. <laughs> and people are going to say, you did? Yes. Ask him. Okay, when he was in high school, uh, Kemba, you know, he went to high school and – had, he, he was struggling a little bit. Then he would go to UConn. And I said, the, go, the, the, the best thing that Kemba did, okay, was he went back to school. And people don't know this until they hear from me. Okay, he went back to school to UConn and graduated early. Okay, he got his degree early. Okay, but uh, he, he was a, he was a, I call it a finder seeker. Okay, he's looking for some kind of uh, identity because when he went to Charlotte, he was a scorer and he was a passer, but they weren't winning in a lot of games. And I know that's your hometown anyway, but they weren't winning a lot of games, okay? Now you go with a traditionally better team because he got better personnel, but if you look on the banners, it's scary up there. When you look at all the championship banners they got, they, they, I tell people when you look at the Boston Garden and now the, the TG whatever center they call it now, they ain't no conference banners up there by no teams okay it's always championship banners i look at the guy that y'all had because i saw his dad grow up okay we talking about kyrie gervin okay i saw his dad grow up and i had his dad okay mitchell projects yes sir yes sir went to bu all right and his dad will say to me a long time ago when they was and when i went to uh the barclay center he like you. I said, no, he ain't like me. He making more, he making more money. And I think he's better. Okay. Cause he enjoyed the championship team earlier than I did. Okay. But you know, I look at Curry, I look at guys like that and who play a different sport. Okay. Kyrie and, and Kemba more of a penetrator, maybe not a great shooter like Curry, but those guys have a different method to the madness. Okay, and Max, if we and me and you were still playing, Larry and Kevin, and we talk about personal trainers, we talking about the nutritional values that they have by people cooking and stuff like that, we could probably still be playing too, okay? Because we didn't have that. We were our own personal trainers, and we did stuff, okay, where somebody got hurt, they got x-ray machines and stuff like that right there, convenient to everybody, and... It saved, it's saving a lot of the guys now. It didn't save us, okay? We had our turn. And now it's a new generational guys who haven't, uh, ha hopefully, and I tell people that, I said, I'm hoping that they having fun and they saving and, and doing some financing with their money. Because I tell people, the most fun I had wasn't playing in the NBA. Most fun I had was playing in the summer leagues and stuff like that against Pee Wee and Joe and Doc and stuff like that because – there was no pressure on, on you. And people say, well, you was getting a salary. You was getting salary from the NBA. But it wasn't no pressure about winning. It was just having fun and, and, and being competitive. And you could kick the ball up in the stands if you want, 